Hi friends and welcome back to the Baseball Card Illustrated channel. I'm Bronco, the PSA 11, and this, this is Saturday Shoot Around, and we're about to go into a card show. We got four rooms chock full of cards with 60 plus dealers and more than 100 tables with basketball, baseball, football, and even racing and soccer. So we're going to go fill this box up and see what we can find inside. So come on in, let's take a look. We've made it inside and the card show has begun here at the Salvation Army in Oak Creek. Let's take a look and see what they have to offer. So we've made it a grand total of one table in. As once again, I've had some first table magic. All this came from a dollar bin. I'm going to go through some of the highlights of this later. But I also wanted to point out that Braves Collector is going to get a mystery pack, which is going to be $25, including shipping worth of great cards that we found throughout the course of the day. We'll wrap up today's video with that. So we're done with our first round, and before we head back in, I wanted to show a couple things I was able to purchase at that first table. So in the dollar bin, this Daryl Strawberry Rookie Card, 1984 Tops. I thought that was a pretty nice purchase, and that'll be part of the mystery pack going out to Braves Collector. And then, five for a buck, we got a Barry Larkin, 1987 Tops. Not a big fan of this guy, but for 20 cents, Gary Sheffield, rookie 1989, clear possible Hall of Famer, had to get that. We got a 1975 Tops Burt Bly 11. Come a little closer here because I'm about to get run over. We got a David Justice on a 1991 design Tops. And then a Benito Santiago from 1987. Donruss, that's a rookie card there, a rated rookie. And then, I'm thinking about a few of you out in the card community. So, Autographs 2000, we got you a little Baltimore Orioles card from the 1970s, 1972 tops. We got a Ben McDonald also for you, because I know you're a big collector of him, rookie card. And, my buddy Steve Rodebacher, this bad boy is coming your way. It's a Gorman Thomas rookie card. I told you I was going to look for one. We found one right away. So we got that. Now let's go back in and see what else we can find. Alrighty, it's time for round two here at the Salvation Army. Let's see what we can find on this trip around the bases. We spent about another 20 minutes at a dollar box. We got a total of 24 cards for just 20 bucks. Some of these will go in the mystery pack. Some of these are going in my PC. And a few of these might even head your way. I always come to a card show with extra supplies just in case I come across a dollar box that has cards penny sleeve. That came in handy as I found this 1989 clear John Smoltz rookie to include in the mystery pack. And now he can be safely stored as I continue shopping. I typically don't dabble too much in football, but I saw these Trevor Lawrence cards at five bucks a piece and they reminded me of some of my favorite cards from back in the day. So I figured I'd take a shot and buy a few of the number one pick of the NFL draft. Round two inside has been completed. I'm gonna show off a couple things here as I put them back in the car. And you'll see here, this was a 10 for $10 booth, a nice special that included a couple things like this Gavin Lux rookie card right in the middle. And I point that out because on the way out, there was a place where we could find one of those for $5. So that already looks like a pretty good deal. You see Bo Bichette, we got a Mike Trout mini, a Randy Rosarena hidden there. And as the wind blows all these down, you see Alec Bohm. And one of the cards there was Kyle Lewis. I know he's on the injured list because the wind blew him down and injured him. But for a buck for a stadium club rookie, that seemed like a good investment and who knows, a swing for the fence. So the idea of having the card just on top of the card in works, so I'm just going to hold up a few more. These were the $5 bin variety and we got an Ian Anderson autograph, certified autograph from Tops. That's going to go in the mystery pack. We've got an Evan White card from his USA Baseball days. It's an autographed jersey relic card. We've got a Kevin Seitzer autograph. This is probably going out to my friend Blind Dutchman cards because it's a 1989 Tops design. And we got this Tony Womack, which might be on a future episode of Mystery Mondays here on the Baseball Card Illustrated channel. And for no apparent reason, if so, I've got this Gavin Lux card in my hand. Time to go in for round three. It's time for round three. Devin Williams is coming in for the setup. We're going to go try to close this out here at the card show in Oak Creek, Wisconsin. Those of you who've been following the channel know that we're sending a birthday package out to Kip. And we decided not to send it out quite yet, knowing that this card show is coming up. We're going to add a few more Mike Trouts to that collection. Also, one other purchase that I remember from way back in the day, I always kind of wanted, and I found this in a dollar bin. We're looking at the reverse negative of Juan Gonzalez, 
1990 Donruss. It's been a while since Kevin and I brought you an episode of The Big Show, but we're stocking up on packs to do that. We're going to refill the shoebox and get back to that series soon. Here's some 2013 Series 1 tops, 2016 Series 2 tops. Got to have some updates, so here's some 2009 tops. And a little Fleer Tradition from 2002. Plus, there was a little bonus purchase here that will open at the end of the video. No, actually, maybe we'll do it on a separate video. We got some WrestleMania 3 cards, one pack of those. We're looking for Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, and of course, the Macho Man, Randy Savage. We're in the bottom of the ninth, and these were some of the last purchases I made on the way out the door. We got a Ken Griffey Jr. Bowman rookie, which I've never owned. One of two Ken Griffey Jr. rookies I haven't owned. Unfortunately, the other is the upper deck. I added this Eric Davis autograph card because my new phone is called Eric the Red, thanks to Kevin. Got this Gary Pettis card, which is kind of unusual because it's a 1985 design with actual Gary Pettis on it, as opposed to his younger brother. So we're outside now, the card show is over, and it's time to go back into my house here and see what we got. We're back in the Baseball Card Illustrated Studios, and it's time for an extra special bottom nine Broncos card show purchases. These are nine of my favorite purchases throughout the course of the day. Normally we do this as a standalone video here on Thursday on Baseball Card Illustrated where we're going to rifle through some of the cards and packs and things that we purchased throughout the course of the day. So coming at number nine is this 1989 Bowman Ken Jr. Rookie card. As I said earlier, it's one of the cards of Ken Jr. out of the rookie collection, if you will, that I did not previously have for six bucks. And I was really happy to add that to the collection. Number eight is actually a three card set here of legendary manager Earl Weaver. We've got a variety of different cards. We've got 1971 there on right here. We got 1972 right here. And I think this is 1970, is that correct? It is, 1970 right here. All of these were a buck a piece. And as a new Orioles fan, um, thanks to my friend Scott over at Autographs 2000 who talked me into liking the birds. I'm happy to add one of the legendary characters in all of baseball history and especially Orioles history, Earl Weaver, to the collection. If you've been watching Baseball Card Illustrated, welcome back. And you know that number seven is retired for the GOAT, John Elway. Picked up just a couple cards that I didn't have, and this is one of them here. Number six on the list, going back to my newfound fandom for the Orioles, is Brooks, no, easy for me to say, Brooks Robinson. And Brooksy, the great gold glove infielder, third baseman for the Orioles for so long. He's a great TTMer, so I'm going to go ahead and send this one out with the requested donation and see if we can get that one back on a future video here of Baseball Card Illustrated signed. Number five is a guy that actually did a private signing not that long ago, and I kind of missed it. So I saw this one for five bucks, and I figure I'll add a 1989 design of Kevin Seitzer to the collection. It's signed here, and while I'm thinking of it, if you like 1989 and everything to do with that top set, check out Flying Dutchman Cards, and my buddy there, Andy, does a great job hitting every possible conceivable angle of 1989 tops. He's now a super collector of the master set of all things 1989 tops designed, which includes baseball, basketball, I think there might even be some football in there. Um, his brother Doug at Don't Talk to Robots has helped with that series, so check that out. It's a great series, and it'll keep you entertained for quite some time. Checking in number four is Bo Jackson. Found this card for a buck, and that's an automatic purchase if I find this Future Stars card for one dollar. At number three, this is one I showed you, and after thinking it over, I think what we're going to do is Kevin and I are going to open this on a special video. We're going to try and talk one of our wrestling friends in to joining us for that and reliving some good old WrestleMania 3 fun um, as we hunt for the Hulkster, Andre the Giant, maybe the Hart Foundation will be in there. So we'll look for that in a future video here on Baseball Card Illustrated. Number two, I just used this as an example. We're going to make July Cal Ripken Jr. Month here on Baseball Card Illustrated. So every giveaway we do, be it Mystery Mondays or Broncos bonus video giveaway, or anything else that we do throughout the course of the month of July, some card of Cal Ripken Jr. is going to be included with that package for whoever wins. So look forward to that. We picked up a whole bunch of Cal Ripken Jr.'s. 
throughout the course of the day, and this is just one of them. And this is probably the one I like the best. Um, I don't know how well this shows up, but it's a Bowman Chrome card, and you got the map there. Um, this is a buck, and I was happy to purchase that. And it, this is actually the card that kind of got me excited to do this for July. So Calrican Junior Month coming up on July on Baseball Card Illustrated. And that leads to number one. It has nothing to do with that, but I got a new phone. Hopefully you're enjoying the video and it's a better quality. And we've named, nicknamed it Eric, Eric the Red, Eric Davis, because it's a red iPhone. And here's an Eric Davis autograph card for eight bucks, numbered to two ninety nine. I couldn't pass that one up. I think that, as I've said on other videos, I think he's an underrated player who did so much on the field, coming back from cancer off the field. And when I saw this and it was only eight bucks, I don't have an Eric Davis autograph in the collection until now. So this was definitely going to get purchased. It wasn't even a thought to put that one back in the box for eight bucks. So excited to add that to the collection. And I hope you enjoyed this look at the bottom nine. And you know why? Because Bronco said so. And now the main event, as we go through the mystery pack that I got for Braves Collector for 25 bucks, all these cards are going out your way. Thanks for participating, and I certainly hope you enjoy this mystery package that we put together for you with cards that kind of fit what you talked about being as part of your collection and things that you enjoy. So hopefully we hit a home run with this. So we'll start with a Barry Larkin rookie card, 1987 tops, the old wood grain design. We got a Gary Sheffield 1989 Fleer. It hurt to buy that, but I couldn't pass it up at the five for a buck to, uh, box that we found that one in. Here's a Burp Lie 11. That's kind of a classic card there earlier in his career, blowing a bubble. I thought that was pretty cool. David Justice on a 1990 Topps design, gold cup card. I thought that was good for basically 20 cents. Along with this Benito Santiago rated rookie card. We got you Daryl Strawberry, 1984 Topps. Really like that card. We'll move on, get those out of the way. Because we've got Craig Biggio, 1989 Fleer rookie card. Here's something I think you'll really like. We got a 1971 National League RBI leaders card of Joe Torre, Willie Stargell, and Hammer and Hank himself, Hank Aaron. That's an original card. It's not any kind of reproduction. I thought that was a great deal at a buck. We got a guy that I know you're a big fan of, Bo Jackson. Hopefully you enjoy that. This one here is one that I saw at a variety of price levels throughout the course of the day. And we got a yeah, Chipper Jones rookie card, a top prospects from Upper Deck. That was just one buck. There's a little bit of damage to the upper right corner, but I saw this card going for up to six bucks raw, so I thought for a buck that was a pretty nice purchase. And here's another Braves card for you. Of course, I'm sure you know that one, 1989 Fleer John Smoltz. Move those out of the way and bring up Manny Ramirez, who's usually clearing the bases with his bat. There's a rookie card. Here's one I thought was another good deal as well. We got a Jason Kendall draft pick card, but it's a Topps Gold one. And I figured for a dollar, that's not a bad purchase at all, so we hope you enjoy that. We've got Kirk Gibson, a rookie card from, i almost positive this is Fleer, and I feel ridiculous having to check and look that up. And it is Fleer, the premier edition of Fleer, in fact. Um, I know you're a Hall of Fame rookie collector, so hopefully you got room for Pedro Martinez there on this upper deck design. Here's a card that's not a rookie, but it is a, a guy that we all know and enjoyed watching play. Kirby Puckett on a 1987 Donruss. That looks like it was in really nice shape, and I figured that would be a nice addition to the collection for you. And anytime I can find this card here for $1, I'm going to buy that one. It's the Big Hurt, Frank Thomas. Unfortunately, the name is on the front, but that's still a really nice card. And we got another Hall of Famer for you. The Big Unit, Randy Johnson on a 1989 Donruss. It's the Rated Rookie. And we're going to wrap this up with a couple more Braves cards. We have an Ozzy Albies rookie card here. And I thought that was a pretty nice, flashy design of a newer player. And then the most expensive card as part of your prize pack, or mystery package, I should say. It's going to be an Ian Anderson autographed rookie, uh, pro debut card, I believe it is. Let me, let me look that up just to make sure I'm saying this right. Yeah, pro debut from Topps. That's an autographed card of Ian Anderson. And hopefully you like him because my buddy Showtime, who you saw earlier in the video, also threw in this that he got out of a pack of 2021 tops that he opened. Another Ian Anderson card. That's his rookie card. 
So hopefully you really enjoy that package. I'd like to thank you for participating in this. And I'll let everybody know that the National is coming up. We're going to have a video later this coming week talking about the autographed guest list for the National when that's released. And we're also going to do some mystery packages if anybody wants to participate then. Um, I don't know if we might even have like a $10 level and a $20 level or something. We'll, we'll give you more details on that as we get closer to the big event coming up at the end of July. But just wanted to throw that out there and let you know all that is coming up. Don't forget this week on Baseball Card Illustrated, we have Mystery Mondays as I challenge Kevin to another one-on-one -on -one matchup. We'll have, as I said, sometime this week when the autograph lineup gets released, we'll have a Bronco bonus video talking about the autograph guest list for the National. And we'll have a bottom nine list, an extra special one, talking a little bit about my new phone, Eric Davis, and the process of getting that all set up, activated, and ready to go. So I'd like to thank you for taking along on this card show adventure with us. On behalf of Kevin the Diamond King, our graphics guru Dylan, and make, by the way, speaking of Dylan, he's making his debut right here on the channel. You're going to get to see him and his graphics wizardry on Monday. Check that out for sure. It's going to be great. Um, also, want to thank Showtime, who you saw in this video. He made his debut right here in this video and did some awesome camera work as well. So thank you very much to my buddy Showtime, who went along and was a big help with this video. Of course, I'm Bronco, the, the PSA 11, Wishing you a good night. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like if you'd be so kind. And we'll see you later in the week here on Baseball Card Illustrated.